guys welcome to yet another video of cool from scratch so so proud of you for showing up today also today we are doing second hard question of binary search and if you were able to understand the first one you will be able to understand this question very easily because in fact it is the exact same question so you will see how it belongs to the same pattern and the same question has been just you know twisted a bit to form this question so this actually belongs to hard level which means it is asked in hard interviews you're expected to do question like this like within 45 minutes or so so in interviews like google amazon you can expect such questions good thing about dsa is that there are very very limited number of patterns that are there and once you learn how to identify those patterns you will be able to ace your interviews so this is one such extremely important pattern that you know once you identify this you will be able to do all questions belonging to the pattern so without wasting any time let's look at the question understand it and see why it is actually the same question as book allocation question so here we are given that we have to paint a dog's home so we have n boards given to us and every board has different length so in the example this is the array given to us so the length of the array is n and each uh, element over here denotes a board of different length okay the length of the ith board is given by array of i where array is an array of n integers uh, he hired k painters for this work and each painter takes one unit time to paint one unit of the board now this is extremely extremely important point and we will see why the problem is to find the minimum time to get this job done if all the painters start together with constant that any painter will paint contiguous boards okay one thing at a time first thing we have to say is that this is a minimization problem why because we have to find the minimum time taken to get the job done what is the job to paint all the boards okay so that is the thing now we are dealing with time and what we are given is the length of the boards right so first thing that we should see is that how are, how is the length related to the time and for that this point is extremely important one unit time to paint one unit of the board which means that here see this element actually means there is one board of five length so five length means that you will take five unit time to paint this board similarly this element means that you need 10 unit time to you know paint the board similarly this means that you need 30 unit time to paint the board similarly this means you need 20 unit time to paint the board so basically you can consider this in time itself so that is why this is extremely important because even though the array is given to you in terms of length it is same as you know unit time because it is given that one unit time corresponds to one unit of the board so that is one thing now what do we have to minimize we have to minimize the time to get this job done what is the job the job is to paint all the boards right so what do you mean by getting this job done see now there are k painters they will be painting few boards right now what is the maximum time that any painter takes that will be the answer why is that see suppose there are five painters or say there are three painters and they take time like five hours 10 hours and 20 hours so if i come to you and say how much time did you take to get the job done you're going to say 20 hours because even after five hours or 10 hours one or two painters were done they were still, the job was still going on the job was not done when was the job done when all the painters finished painting right so that is very very important point over here when we say get the job done it means you know the painting has finished all the painters have finished so maximum time taken by any painter is the thing that we have to minimize over here so minimum time taken to get the job done again to revise till now see we have some boards given to us so now these elements basically denote the length of the board but now it is given to us that one unit time to paint one unit board that means that we can actually consider this array as time itself now what do we have to find we have to find the minimum of the maximum time that any painter takes now if you compare this with book allocation problem this was exactly what we had to do there we were minimizing the maximum number of pages allocated to any student here we are minimizing the maximum time taken by any particular painter so this is exactly the same question see here the constraint given to us is also same the constraint that any painter will paint continuous boards so there it was given that okay contiguous books should be allocated here we are given that okay the painter can pick only continuous boards what does that actually mean 
it means that you know a first painter can pick say only this particular board or say two boards or say three boards but painter can't pick like first board then third board then fifth board like that so the painter can pick only continuous boards so just like book allocation problem we'll be applying binary search over here the binary search is over the time we have to minimize the time right so initially we'll take a resultant value which will be equal to max value now here one small tricky thing is that we have to deal with long long instead of integer so when you start initializing your resultant value you have to take like long long max instead of int max okay you initialize that with long max and then what will you do you will take a search space of the time now what will be the search space of the time let's talk about that also for the search space we have to consider the minimum and the maximum values of the time taken by the painters to finish the job okay so what is the minimum time so at least to finish like one particular board one painter has to be assigned right so whatever will be the maximum value of this that is the minimum value of our answer minimum value of our search space this is exactly same as book allocation problem there if you understood you will be able to understand this very easily if not let me repeat that once more see we are looking for a search space of the time taken for painters to finish the job now let's assume that each painter takes one one board then at least one painter will get this board so at least one painter will get one biggest board right so this will be the time that at least uh, that painter will take to finish because you can't divide the boards so that is why 30 is the minimum time that painters will take to finish the job it is possible that the time taken is more but at least this much will be there so your search space lower value will be the maximum of this array so let me write down the notes for you because the comments are not visible properly in the dark mode i am switching to light mode so that comments are visible properly so let's talk about our search space what will be our search space so lower value will actually be max of the array given to us okay how do we find this maximum element you could actually use the stl function max element itself otherwise you could just traverse to the array once and find the maximum element so this is the lower value what is the higher value of our search space it is the sum of all elements of array now why is that see let's consider the case when one particular painter has to paint all of the boards so that is the case where the painter will take how much time that uh, summation of all the units of time so this is the uh, higher limit of the search space now we'll be searching in between of this and why can we apply binary search over here because here we are given k painters so that is the constraint that we are dealing with so just like book allocation problem we'll write one more function where we will see that okay is allocation possible or not so we will try allocating these boards to painters and see okay whether it was possible to allocate within the k painters or not if it is not possible then we can shift our search space to either uh, right half and if it is possible then we will try to minimize the answer by moving our search space to the left half so this question is actually exactly same as book allocation problem i actually wrote the code and then i saw that okay code is also exactly same so i don't want to repeat the entire thing in the video what i want you to do is go try it out yourself trust me it is exactly the same code all you will have to do in gfg is you will have to deal with this long long cases for that i have told you that in the starting instead of taking int max take long long max and rest everything is going to be same just you know take your middle values take your l and h values and long long pass it in the function also in terms of long long and you will be able to handle all the h cases so this is your homework you really have to do this go write the code yourself let me know if you were able to pass all the cases or not submit the code and let me know okay also i want you to tell me how clear this concept is do you want me to take more examples do you want me to cover more such problems do you want me to write the code or not or should we move to a new playlist after binary search are we ready to move ahead are we confident in binary search or not let me know in the comments if there are any doubts let's finish this after this you should be able to solve literally any binary search question so if there's any doubt at all let me know See you tomorrow, Tata. Thank you.